Austin and music go hand in hand. Well, that partnership makes up the DNA of a brand new luxury house for sale in Austin, created by a group of architects, designers, and builders called the Fern Santini Collaborative. The house is going to be listed for about $16.25 million at the end of this month. It's a tiny bit out of my price range, but I can tour it, and so can you. And that money goes toward helping Austin musicians through the nonprofit HAM. Here with us this morning is home designer, artist, and Austinite, Fern Santini. We've also got real estate mogul, best-selling author, and star of Bravo's million-dollar listing, Frederick Eklund. How are y'all doing? We're good. Hey. Awesome. Well, let's start with you, Fern. This is a, this is a beautiful music inspired home. What are people seeing when they tour it next week? The architecture is totally inspired, I think. And the house was really designed for music to be in the middle of your life every day. It's not just relegated to the media room. There's a collection of rock and roll photographs that we spent about three years collecting, all signed. Some of them you can't get anymore. You know, Mick Jagger's up there with Dolly Parton. Willie Nelson's up there with Daryl Royal. Just people that really shaped and changed our world in the way we listen to music. And music is such an integral part of my experience of living in Austin over the last four decades that we just really wanted to celebrate that. So your team is moving into Texas, which is a really hot housing market right now. And when the house goes mm -hmm. on the market later this month, it's, it's your listing. Talk about that. Yeah. So, you know, I run the number one team uh, in the nation. We started off in New York and then I moved to Los Angeles about two years ago where we have a team. We are a team in Miami and um, Texas was always something we were discussing. And, you know, through the pandemic and 2020, of course, a lot of people moved to Texas, especially from California, where I'm at. And we started traveling there and, you know, got to learn what you already know, that it is all ice in Texas and the most exciting real estate market in the world, I would say right now. What we learned very quickly, of course, is that every single listing, basically, there are very few of them because there's a lack of inventory it was like 30 to 50 offers over ask if you can even snap, you know, a, a, a listing as a real estate broker. So we've been hiring the best brokers and, and, you know, partnering up with some of the most exciting new development. And, and this particular house, the first time I walked in and I met Fern, you know, I was completely obsessed. So one more question about the housing market. You mentioned the inventory, which is a really good point. According to the Austin board of realtors, the median sales price in Austin jumped like 25% to $514,000, which is an all time high for Austin. Uh, what's going on here? I mean, the weird thing is you've got like backyard tool sheds going for a million dollars in Austin, Texas. Yeah. What is, what's happening? Well, I just, I think it's, it's pretty obvious that uh, Texas in general, but Austin specifically has been undervalued. Uh, and I think we're just in the beginning of a, I hate to say it, but it's a big, you know, capital appreciation that's going to happen in the next decade in, in Austin. And we want to be part of it. It reminds me a little bit of New York when I first moved there, like 2004, 2005, and we had bidding wars and lines of people lining up. But what that just shows is that New York was very undervalued at that time. So is Austin right now. And it is, you know, an amazing city, an incredible food scene, incredible, you know, lifestyle and people from all over the world is really, you know, putting Austin on their map right now. Well, Fern, let's wrap it all up with you. People can tour the home uh, starting next week, and it's for a good cause. Yes. One of the things that we want to do with the collaborative on each project, and this is the inaugural project, um, is partner with a nonprofit in Austin that needs, uh, that needs our help. And to be able to fundraise and give 100% of the proceeds to the charity, we find underwriters, we underwrite part, whatever we need to do, we pay for it the charity keeps all the proceeds. That was very important to us that we structure it like that. And ham, of course, is near and dear to my heart. And I wanted to, of all times in the middle of a pandemic, working musicians in Austin need our help. Fern and Frederick, thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you.